Hi, welcome here at Cybos at the HPE booth and I'm here with Krishna Prasad Shastri and you're the chief technologist at HPE and you're an expert in machine learning, especially machine learning at the edge. And the edge brings new challenges within machine learning. And can you explain a little bit what type of new challenges that you see? Sure. So let's look at today, as you said, all the data gets generated or originated in the edge. Mm -hmm. But in today's technology, so all these data need to be moved into a central location and the models are trained in the central location. And the trained models are moved into the edge for doing an inferencing. So mm -hmm. that's currently what we have with most of the machine learning applications. As you can see here, the model training needs a lot of data. Mm -hmm. And these data are generated at the edge, which are moved into a central location, which is quite inefficient. And hardly possible. Yeah. And in addition to that inefficiency, there are other kind of a challenges which are emerging. So with the privacy preservation laws like a GDPR. Especially in finance in Europe. Yeah. yeah, and so there might be a lot of cases where there is a pre the restriction in terms of moving data into a central location. Mm -hmm. So that means you will have a lesser number of data to train the model. So it will have an impact in terms of the, the quality of the model. And in addition to that, in some cases, let's say if you are working in healthcare trying to identify a very rare diseases, mm -hmm. It's highly likely that a no single institute would have all the training data to train it. So now they have to collaborate with the other institutes, which it means like that they need kind of a framework to collaborate with other institutes. And now with data being looked at as a new goal, every company would like to monetize the data with their own. So in that collab to, to enable that collaborative machine learning, it also needs to support a good monetization framework mm -hmm. to train the model. So these are all kind of a challenges which one need to overcome if you need to really enable the model training on the edge and also enable the collaborative kind of a training. And then what type of new solutions you're working on where you solve the issue from the data transfer, where you solve the issues from the privacy, where you solve the issue from the monetization? Yeah, so we are kind of in the labs uh, working on something called as a swarm learning. Mm -hmm. So what we started thinking through that is, uh, instead of taking all the data from edges into a central location and training, we said, can we take the model to where the data originates and train it there? Okay. So of course, like the if we do that, so there's going to be a no single node will have sufficient data to train it. So eventually they need to collaborate with the bunch of node which participates in training that model. Uh -huh. So we implemented a network called as a swarm network based on a blockchain to enable these decentralized peer-to-peer -peer collaboration among the nodes which participates in model training. Mm -hmm. So the model which trains on a local data and gets the insights from the training, mm -hmm. in a purely a technology term, it's basically the weights of the neural networks mm -hmm. and shares that information with the other participating nodes and combines all these learnings to get into a global state. Mm -hmm. So through that we can still use the edge nodes to train the model using the local data and still achieve an accuracy which could be achieved with a centralized machine learning kind of an approach. But stay within the GDPR kind of frameworks yeah. and the privacy type of frameworks. Absolutely, as we said, so what happens in this case is like, that. okay, the data is never leaving the premise. Mm -hmm. Instead, the model is coming and training on a local data. Mm -hmm. So the privacy is preserved, only the weights which are shared with the other models. Mm -hmm. And then since we also implement a blockchain based network mm -hmm. for the Swarm network, it could also enable the monetization framework easily based on the blockchain's crypto tokens kind of an approach. So we enable the collaborative learning and then also enable the companies to monetize the data with their contributing for the training. And since the no data leaves the premise, so it provides the complete data privacy support. It's a great approach to the new edge type of solution. Krishna, thanks a lot for sharing your insights. And thank you for watching here at Cybos in London at the HPE booth. Enjoy this video? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.